what I'll do now is I'll take some of this stuff away and uh, we'll, we'll um, wood this and uh, set it down to oak. Um, this is what's called um, white dog or white mule. It's, it's, it's basically uh, moon, raw moonshine, new, new whiskey. Because basically a whiskey, uh, be it a scotch whiskey or a bourbon whiskey or just a, a generally a, a whiskey spirit, um, it's it's grown up moonshine. It's, it's moonshine that's aged. It's moonshine when it comes off the still like this. Well, I'm sure I'm sure some of the the, the Scotch and and, and uh, Tennessee distilleries would would beg to differ <laughs> uh, labelling their product moonshine. Basically, it, it, it's a new unaged whiskey which is moonshine. You start aging it and finessing it and then, um, putting it in oak barrels or, or giving it oak. Um, then you change the character and you do a lot of stuff to it just in those stages as well but we're taking our, 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 our moonshine and uh, oaking it it's not going to be whiskey because it's never going to get that old um, but it's going to be a finessed moonshine so we'll do that now now the next step is to um, temper our spirit uh, down to 62% um, by volume that's the magic number that you age uh, rums and, and whiskies at, um, they tend to, to strip the um, flavours and tannins and vanilla, uh, vanilla type flavours out of uh, wood better at 62% than, um, than any, other, any other concentration. So that's the rule of thumb. Um, what I'm going to do is pop all these guys in here. Why would I pop them in the kennel conical flask? Well, um, start with, I want to find out how much I've got and then I can calculate how much I need to temper it down by. So, we'll just start popping our spirit. Into there. And before these kind of taper, taper off over the run, even with the thumper. So I start out at 80, though all those jars were 80, 81%. Now it starts dropping off. And that's the reason you need to temper them in a tempering vessel, some kind of tempering vessel. You've got all this uh, slow gradation of, of fall off of, of alcohol by volume or proof. By the time you mix it all together, get it in one vessel, um, you can get the amalgamation of it all and find out what the overall proof is. Coming up to five. We've only got two and a half or so jars left. There we go. Close Five litres. Ooh, you smell that. That smells nice. So we're up to 2,250 mil in this. So all up we've got seven litres. 7 litres 250ml. Uh, just make a note of that. 7 litres. Mmm, yum. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is um, highly dodgy because it's a, a glass cowboy, it's not, it's, I've dried it off so it's not wet, but um, I'm just going to agitate, agitate my alcohol in there. I always uh, don't like messing around with the glass cowboys, they're very easy to slip out of your hands, which is why I'm not going nuts shaking this thing.
now we've got our 7.2 litres of um, alcohol on there. It's all at 1 ABV because it's all been amalgamated and we'll uh, check out what that is. Get our measuring cylinder and we'll pour some in it. Some nice sort of striations here is the, the alcohol. When you get alcohol in a jar it behaves a lot different from water. You see all sorts of nice little patterns coming out as it as it runs down the inside of it, it behaves very, very differently from water visually. In fact, that's part of the way of um, telling, uh, getting the ballpark of the proof is, is the way that it, it visually behaves. So I'll just wash out that funnel before I start doing anything with that. Paramount that you keep everything nice and clean, rinse everything. Okay, so I just want to fill up my 100 more, me oop, 100 more measuring cylinder so that I can then pop my alchemeter into it. Again, chunking around big vessels like this is not ideal. <laughs> So we take our alchemeter here, drop it in there, and got about seventy-seven, seventy-seven percent alcohol by volume in that. So I'll write that down as well. volume of 7.125 and that gives us 1.725 so we need to add the, the, the original volume minus the, our existing volume that gives us how much water we need to add and funnily enough I just have a conical flask over here with 1.725 litres in there so let's 
pop that in and this should drop us back to 62% by volume or thereabouts I'm adding, what, what I dilute this down with um, is filtered artesian water I collect my water from a uh, ground filtered artesian well that has incredibly pure beautiful water in it uh, and then I throw it through a um, Berkey filter, which is like a, a gravity carbon filter. So I end up with some really nice water to, to work with. That's what I um, do all my brewing and distilling with. Notice it's gone all quite cloudy in here um, with the, the alcohol water immersion. I'll give that a hand out by doing a bit of a mix as well, throwing it around. It should settle now. Nice. And if anyone doubts, doubts what we got there. Uh, where are we? Nice clean glass funnel. Little measuring cylinder. Nasty big cowboy full of booze. Read that below the meniscus, if you can see there. Oh, come on. If you, re if you read it just below the meniscus, anyway, she's at 62. 62 um, percent alcohol by volume, which is right where we want it for adding our oak.